Hey, Eastview Kids, it's Miss Maggie. I'm so glad you're here for our awesome watercolor class. If you drove up to the family fall event, you can go ahead and get your supplies ready to go. If you didn't, there's an opportunity to download the same picture and print it at home to do at home. If you don't have a watercolor set, you can use markers or crayons or colored pencils or whatever. It's gonna be a great time and we're so glad you're here today. Hi everybody, I'm Michelle Schneider. I am a watercolor artist and children's illustrator. And I have two kids, uh, Josie is five and Lane is three, and I'm sure that they will be doing this watercolor tutorial with me as soon as the video comes out. Today we're gonna record, um, we're gonna show you a tutorial on how to paint a pumpkin and a truck and lots of fun fall themed things. We're gonna do it all together. If you would like to, when you're done with this, download an additional copy of uh, the painting, the illustration that we're doing today, you can go to my website, which is michelleschneiderart.com and download that for free and print that at home if you'd like. So we're gonna have a ton of fun today. I love painting with my kids. I hope that you enjoy it today too. If you need additional help, you can ask a grown-up to help you, uh, but we're gonna get started, so let's go. Okay, so today we're gonna paint this uh, picture that I drew, and this is obviously a pumpkin patch. We have all these little details here. Um, depending on how experienced you are with painting, you can make this as easy or as hard as you want. So if you want to make it more advanced, you can paint each element a little different color, um, or you can just have fun and do whatever you want. You can follow along with me or just go your own pace. Um, and if at any time during the video I go too fast, you can just hit pause and catch up and then hit play again and we'll do it together. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, I have slightly different supplies than you do. I have um, brushes that are in different sizes. You probably just have one size brush. So you might be slower at some of these bigger parts when we do the background, that's okay. Um, and then I have this paint palette, which is a hot mess right now. But I have lots of colors, but mostly my colors are gonna be the same as yours. Your palette might look something a little bit more like this, where each color is separated. Um, what you can do is you can mix colors right here on the lid. That's what we do at our house. Um, and then, so like, if you wanna mix a purple, you can mix the red and the blue right here on the lid and then paint it on your illustration. So, so. we're gonna get started and I'm gonna use one of my bigger brushes Again, if you have other brushes at home that you can use, feel free to use those. Um, the first thing we're gonna do is just get our brush really wet. And then of course I have water, and then I have a napkin here so I can um, make sure that my brush isn't dripping wet all over my painting. So I think that um, what I'm gonna do, and again, you can do it different if you want to, but I'm gonna mix blue. with a little bit of black because I'm gonna make this a night scene. And then I'm gonna paint the background. Oops, see I already dripped, but that's okay. And then I, since I'm right-handed, I usually start on the left side of my paper so I don't drag my hand across it. Okay, so you can kind of tell that my brush is getting a little dry time to add a little bit more water and I let it um, just dry on its own here and it kind of is darker and lighter in spots and I like the way that that looks so I'm just gonna leave that and we're almost done I can just bring it down and then I'm gonna fade the blue into the green to make this grass down here so in order to get your color to be lighter, you just add some water and then tap your brush so it's not dripping. And then you can use your brush to bring the color down. So if you want the color to be really light, I'm gonna rinse out all the color on my brush. And then I'm just gonna fade it down. And then later we can paint over this area and we can make it green. So if you want to mix your colors on your palette, you probably have a black and a blue, or you can mix some purple in there. I'm gonna mix a little bit of purple in mine as 
see what that looks like. If you want to take paint off, you can just go over top of it with a clean, wet brush, and it'll kind of take the paint out for you. So now let's do the grass underneath, and then last we'll paint our pumpkins. So there are lots of colors on your palette that can make green besides just the green that's on there. You can mix blue and yellow. Um, you can mix a lot of yellow and make it a really bright green and just a little bit of blue. Uh, you can mix all three of those colors. You can even mix a little bit of orange with it and make it darker. So I have lots of different types of green here. And I'll show you. I'm gonna make mine a little bit darker green. So you can kind of see as the paint dries, it kind of, uh, the color moves a little bit. And in some watercolor paints, the color will actually, a lot of blues, the color will actually separate out and that makes it look like a really cool texture. All right, so see this um, line here between the green and the blue? You wanna kind of smooth that out. So what I'm doing is I'm rinsing my brush out, making it so it's not drippy. And then I'm just gonna pull the color some here. Next, maybe we could do the leaves and start adding some color there, and then we can do the truck. Um, if you want to, you can just hop around and do different parts of your, your painting. Uh, you can start on the pumpkins if you want. These are barrels of apples, so you could paint those. Um, I'm just gonna start with some red. Uh, we painted the background really cool colors, so like the blue and the green, those are cool colors, um, and a little bit of purple in there because I wanted all the colors in the front, like these pumpkins here, and especially this one here, and the leaves to be bright, warm colors, like the red, orange, and yellow. So they'll really pop if you do the background in cool colors. Next, we'll do some leaves. So you can get some red, orange, yellow. You can make the leaves whatever color you want. So these leaves down in front, I'm gonna maybe make those yellow. Sometimes leaves are more than one color, so you can also add some orange to them. So next, let's do the straw bales here. So those are gonna be like a gold. So you can mix, if you have a brown and a yellow, you can mix those two colors together. And by now, my water's getting pretty dirty, so I might need to switch that out in a minute. And if your water's getting dirty too, you wanna switch it out, make sure you keep it clean. Okay, so I'm gonna also, while I have the yellow on my brush, there's these flowers, mums, so I'm gonna paint those yellow too. I like yellow mums, it's my favorite. Now, let's do the truck and we'll do the pumpkins last. You can also paint the little squirrels. Now, I'm trying to think what color I should paint this truck. Let's maybe make it red. Okay, that looks pretty good. The inside of the truck is just gonna be dark. And then we'll also take that color that's on our brush. I just hop around and go to different spots in the painting because I just wanna use whatever color's on my brush. Okay, so let's get black. And you should all have black on your palette. Get a lot of it. Mix in some water. If it's not mixing very well, you probably need a little bit more water. I'm gonna add just a little bit of blue to my black. And then let's do the tires. So once this dries, you can go over it again with another color. So if I wanted to make different parts of that truck darker, I could just let it dry completely so that way when you touch it, it doesn't come off on your finger. And then you can go back in and add some darker spots. Or if I wanted to make it a really bright red, I could do that. All right, one last thing and then we'll do our pumpkins. Let's do the branches and let's paint this sign here. And we'll do those kind of a brownish. Paint this sign. Okay, now I'm going to just do black on these. Now, if you want to make gray, you just get a little bit of black and a bunch of water, and you can make gray. Okay, so now for the best part, let's do the pumpkins. Now, I'm not going to do all of them orange, but we chose pumpkins for you to paint because, as you know, this is called You Pick. That's what that says. So you get to go in there and pick your own pumpkins, just like God picked you, chose you. 
because he loves you. And then when you pick your pumpkin, you take your pumpkin home and you wash it off just like God washes you, he cleanses you, makes you clean. And then pretty soon here, with this pumpkin here, you're gonna decorate that and you're gonna get to pretend to carve it. And when you actually carve a pumpkin, on the inside of the pumpkin are lots of yucky pulp and seeds and it's just kind of a mess in there. So you clean that out, just like God cleans you out from the inside, get all that messy stuff out. And then the last thing you do is you carve your pumpkin. And when it's all ready to go, you put your candle in it and the candle lights up the pumpkin. Just like God living in you, he lights you up and shines to other people so other people can see God in you, which I think is pretty amazing. And we love to do that. We love to carve pumpkins and put lights in them and then set them out on our front porch. So I'm not gonna do all of them orange. I'm gonna leave some of them white. I really do like orange, so I'm gonna use quite a bit of orange. Now sometimes pumpkins have like, they're orange, but they have green stripes down them. I'm gonna do that here. So if you get your brush really wet and you put orange on there, make sure that that's wet. Then you can rinse your brush out and get some green. And then you just make little stripes and the green will just bleed right into the orange, which is really cool. So I'm gonna do that again. See how this one I painted on the dry paper so it didn't bleed, and this one's on wet so it's gonna bleed. And we'll go in and we'll make this one bleed into each other too. I'm gonna get some orange again, make it kind of yellowy. And then I'm gonna just paint that orange in between that green. And the orange will actually pull, it'll bleed into the green and pull some of that green out. I'm gonna add a little bit more orange to this one too. That looks cool, I like that. So let's do that again here. Okay, let's do a couple more pumpkins and then we'll move on to this big pumpkin. You can decorate this pumpkin however you want. Um, there's actually several ideas that I had. One is that you just paint the pumpkin and then you can take um, black construction paper and you can cut out eyes and a mouth and lots of different types of eyes and noses and mouths and then you can kind of uh, play with that and make design your own face. Uh, you can also just draw a face on there with a pencil and then go in and paint it. Or you can just have it a flat color and leave it like that. Or you can paint it with watercolor and then go in and with crayons and color in a face. It's really up to you. So let's finish our other pumpkins here. I think what I'm gonna do for my big pumpkin is just make it a cool design. Okay, so for that pumpkin, while it's still wet, I'm gonna add some purple, cause why not? And you can also go in and paint all those stems individually, which I'm not gonna do right now. Okay, and then sometimes pumpkins are white, but they kind of have a green color, so we'll do that. Okay, so there's lots of little parts that we haven't quite finished yet, so let's do the mums. So we'll just paint those green. I just wanna add some green around the limbs. It's okay if some white from your paper shows through, because watercolor artists don't actually use white. We just let the paper show through wherever we want it to be white. So if you want to stop and take a break, you totally can. Just push pause, take a break, get a snack, eat your pumpkin snack. That sounds good, actually. And then you can come back and finish the painting. So I'm going to do this big pumpkin next. I don't know what this is going to look like, but we're just going to go for it. I'm, I kind of like how this pumpkin here turned out, so I think I'm going to do that. And I'm going to make it orange with a little bit of green in there. And then later, if my kids want to add a face to it, they can. I'm gonna add a little bit more darker orange to the bottom. And then what you can do here is add a few like spots. And you can kind of add some ridges too. I didn't draw the ridges on there, so that way you, you would have room to draw a face if you wanted to. Or you could just make a cool design. So now we're gonna add some green. I have a really dark green. If you wanna make your green dark like this, you can add some red to it or some black. I'm just gonna some spots. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. I make so many mistakes all the time. That's just part of it. All right, now, if you wanna go in later and color in, you can color the stem and all these little stems. You can color all the little critters, the apples, and then the you pick sign. You can do all that on your own if you want to. Um, it's pretty simple. You can just paint the squirrel like gray or brown or a reddish brown. Um, the apples, you guys know what color apples are. And then the little mouse down there, you can design that however you want to. Over, what I would do is probably go back over all this green down here and I would make it, make the background darker. I'd probably go over this blue too 
and make that really dark so it looks like night. Um, if you wanted to make it super dark, you could also go in and add some stars later. You'd have to get, I think maybe your paint palette might have a white, or you can just color with crayons and make little stars. So it's up to you. So I hope you guys had fun. If you wanted to paint this again, or if you made a mistake and you want to um, redo it, you can go on my website. My name is right down here, Michelle Schneider. And my web address is michelleschneiderart.com. And I have a whole section of freebies. So you can download this coloring sheet as well as lots of other coloring sheets. And I have bookmarks and lots of free things that parents can use. Hope you had fun. Bye.